Windows Server 2019 has built-in antivirus. Let's take a look at how we can run a scan and check to see if we have any viruses. First off, make sure that you've run the latest Windows update to make sure you have the latest antivirus signatures. And we're left-clicking on the Start button in the lower left-hand corner. And then we're going to click on the Settings icon. And now we'll click on System. If we go down to where it says About, we can click on that, and we can see our PC monitored and protected status. So if we click on Windows Security, then we're going to take a look at our security at a glance, and we can click on the antivirus, and we can choose to do a quick scan. And we can see it's going to do that scan right now to see if we have any viruses. Let's go ahead and cancel that. Let's go ahead and click on Manage Settings where it says Virus and Threat Protection. So real-time protection will allow you to uh, protect any files that you're opening. If you double-click, say, on a Word document or any other document, it will do a real-time virus check on it before it lets you open it. If you turn that off, then it won't do that, but your server will run a little faster uh, if you're logged into it locally. We also have the Cloud Delivered Protection option, and by default, that's turned on. And it, what it does is it goes out and tries to grab the latest information uh, on antivirus signatures uh, at all times. And it does that from Microsoft. And if you think you may have a virus that you want to see if it's infected, then you can go ahead and make sure that the automatic sample submission is turned on. And you can click on Submit a Sample Manually. It'll prompt you for the file, and then you can uh, select it and then they will tell you whether or not it really is an infected file. So that can definitely help the community by doing that if you suspect something is up. Here's where we can control folder access. We can click on Manage Folder Access. And by turning this on, it's going to protect us from anybody going in and making changes to any folders without the permission of the administrator. So if we turn that on, then that can protect us against ransomware. By clicking on the protected folders, you can choose specific folders. Uh, by default, you see the folders that are already listed in here that will be protected. And you can add more right here by clicking on Add a Protected Folder. Click the back arrow. We can also manually allow an app through controlled folder access. So if we want to add an app that uh, by default would have been blocked, we can click on the uh, Add an Allowed App and it will browse all apps or look at anything recently blocked that you may want to open up. So if you just opened an application and it was blocked, then it will find it here. We'll click the back arrow and once and twice, and we're back to our virus and threat protection settings. If we want to exclude a folder, we can go to add or remove exclusions. So if we say, hey, don't scan this particular file or folder, file type, or process, uh, because it's just going to mess us up uh, when we go to run a specific application. So we can find a folder that we want to do. We'll just go ahead and create a new one. And there we go. And we'll choose that folder to be excluded. And there it is. Click the back arrow. And we have notification settings. When a Windows Defender will send you a notification, uh, when it thinks you've been infected or have some other very serious uh, message it wants to tell you. So you can go in, manage notifications, and by default, you will be prompted when it finds a threat. Click the back arrow again. And we've come to the end of the different options for our Windows security. However, you can make changes to your privacy settings if you'd like, or your privacy dashboard. It doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the antivirus, but it does uh, keep things from being sent off to Microsoft or from other websites. So that's how you manage Windows Defender, antivirus, and block malware from coming in in Windows Server 2019.